Hi there, Chuck Severance here. I'm in Oxford in England, and we just got done with a wonderful meeting between the Boddington team, the Tetra team, and the Sakai team, talking about things that we're going to do together going forward. So we started off in the biochemistry department at the University of Leeds using Hypermail um, to provide student support. Um, there were loads of problems with that, that the only way to contribute was via email, and the web was just used as a read-only interface of the, the archive. So from that we went to two CGI programs, one to handle messaging, one to handle practice multiple choice tests. Um, that was very flaky in terms of performance, I mean everybody knows now CGI is very poor for performance and uh, can be unstable. Um, so about that time we learnt about Java and before the Java servlet specification came out there was a thing called uh, Java Web Server. So Java Web Server was released as a proprietary product of Sun and introduced the concept of servlets although it was not published as any kind of standard. The, a lot of the code that was in that product became Tomcat because some donated the source code for that product to Apache and it turned into Tomcat. Whether there's any of that source code left, I don't know. Um, so we started programming what really was the product called Boddington in Java to a proprietary web server called Java Web Server because we're pretty confident that it would turn into a standards-based thing as it did. It then evolved into Tomcat and we had the servlet spec. Um, so somewhere around the third or the fourth complete rewrite from scratch, um, we started to come up with what's now called Boddington. It was inspired by Java Enterprise Beans. Before Enterprise Java Beans was released as a spec, it was discussed on the Java website, and we couldn't wait for the spec. So Boddington is inspired by the early discussion of Java Enterprise Beans. Um, that's where the um, object-oriented nature of Bonington comes from. It's from the, the idea that a, a Bonington resource is like a bean, and you can subclass a bean and make a new type of bean. So we then had a very popular piece of software in the biochemistry department. We were asked to roll it out across the University of Leeds and provide a managed service for all of the faculty. And we then went through a period of several years where we were encouraged to try and commercialise and make money out of this. So our um, senior staff at the university were suggesting that we go head to head with those products and try to steal market share off of them um, with Boddington. So we went along with that for a while until we eventually found somebody with enough clout to say yes to the question, please can we give this software away for free. Um, so that's the point where Oxford got involved, UHI got involved, Manchester got involved and we started to really kick off on collaboration in developing the software and that's where I stopped being the sole developer. The biggest number of users and the heaviest amount of use is the University of Leeds. Um, Every single department of the university uses it in a big way. Um, probably the second biggest installation in terms of numbers of users and concurrent logins would be the University of Oxford. And then we have um, the University of Highlands and Islands. Um, we've got small outfits using it as well, many that we will never know because they don't tell us. They've just downloaded it and used it. but. It's quite a range. We've got FE colleges like Scarborough, Sick, Scarborough Sixth Form College um, uses it. Um, we've got schools using it. Um, and internationally, there's one or two colleges around the, the globe. We've had discussions about what Tetra is in the past, which have been somewhat circular. Um, and it actually seems like it's going in a direction now and it's a direction which I think is a, is a good one. Um, so I'm, I'm 
very pleased at the outcome of these two days. And it, to be honest, it's only the last four or five hours where I've felt like that. Um, it, it, I was a little worried yesterday. Um, but it seems like we've, we've got a, a common idea of where we're aiming at and at least a, a good proportion of agreement on how to get there. But I look forward to um, coming in as a consultant on some of the specific projects that come out of it. And I'd very much like to be uh, um, following it from the inside.